Ooh, uh-uh. What's that lady's face when she's like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Yeah, that's kind of what we have going on right now. So we'll let it dry down and see. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So we have another haul today. Y'all know these are my favorite videos to film. I love to shop, especially when I can find a sale. And I shopped the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. And I picked up more than I thought I would. Some of the stuff was the 50% off items and some of the other stuff was just items that they had on sale. So today I wanna to show you what I got. But before we get into the video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. Our little family is growing. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I will not keep you waiting. If you wanna see what I got, I got a box, I got a bag. It might be a long one. Stay tuned and keep on watching. So the first thing we're starting off with, I did not get this from Ulta, but I'm just going to show it because I think I got it from Amazon. I don't remember, but y'all know I'm always looking for products to keep practicing my wig installs and trying to get better with that. This is the Kiss Colors and Care Lace Bond Adhesive Spray. It says up to 20 times hold and this says ultimate hold level nine. She said that this works really well for when she doesn't want to wear glue to help her wig stay in place and she's been able to wear overnight like more than a day um, using this and that it's also good for melting so I decided to pick this up and try it it was pretty inexpensive and something else to just add to my kit of <laughs> wig install products for me to try to get better the next item is something that I picked up. It was in the sale items. It wasn't in the 21 Days of Beauty, but this is the Nest New York Blue Cypress and Snow Reed Diffuser. I love diffusers. I have one of the Joe Malone ones here in my beauty room. I have a diffuser in my bathroom. I have a diffuser in my office. I love when a house smells good. That is so important to me. These were pretty expensive. I think even on sale, this was $40. But it says this is the aroma of a snow-covered mountain retreat in winter. So it's crisp blue cypress, juniper berry, and hints of smoked vanilla bean. I tend to usually like wintry kind of smells. Um, winter candle is one of my favorites from Bath and Body Works. Sweater weather is my all-time favorite. So I felt like I would just like this one. But this is what it looks like. I love when these have these really heavy luxe bottles because it just feels so expensive and luxurious and it's such a great piece to have out for your guest. I'm wondering if I can open this without spilling it because I really want to smell it. That cork is in there. I'm trying to just at least loosen it. Oh, I can't smell it. I don't want to spill this. Okay, now I smell it. Yeah, this smells like winter. This smells like the winter candle from Bath and Body Works. I'm going to close this back because I'm not ready to open it, but I cannot wait to put this out. Next, I picked up a Revlon lash curler. I don't know how I've gone all these years and never had a lash curler. This was on sale. It had pretty decent reviews. I don't really need to curl my lashes, but I got this because I've been thinking about doing like the little clusters and you need to curl your lashes before you put the clusters underneath and I didn't have a lash curler. So I just grabbed one. I don't know if this is, it'll be good enough. I don't really need it for every day. Next, I picked up two of the Zit Sticka Killa Deep Access Patches. These were on sale during the 21 Days of Beauty so they were 50% off. These work really well if you have blemishes that are under the skin, the really painful acne. Um, this helps to kind of just bring everything to a head. So I picked up two of these. There's only four in a pack, but it comes with like, um, it's not alcohol, but like some kind of solution on a cotton pad that you wipe first and then you put the patch over it. So I feel like it's like a little more heavy duty for the really stubborn bumps. I also picked up two packs of the regular surface extraction dots is what these are called. These are hydrocolloid patches. You can get these on Amazon. 
probably get them at Walmart, but I like this brand, so they were 50% off and I just grabbed them while they were on sale. I also picked up the Kinship Insta Swipe Lemon Honey AHA Pads. These are exfoliating and brightening pads to help clear clogged pores and glow from within. Still working on my dark spots, so any products I can find, especially on sale. I like this brand Kinship, so I decided to go ahead and try this. I picked up one of the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oils. Honestly, I used to buy these and then I stopped. And I picked up this one because I want to compare it. I have the Dior lip oil now. I have the House Labs lip oil. And I kind of just want to see like what is the big deal between these lip oils. Does this feel the same as those? Why are we spending $40 on Dior when you can get it for $3 or $5 or whatever at Ulta? Or Milani used to have lip oils. I think they still do. Like why are we paying so much money for these other ones when there are really good drugstore options. So I wanted to pick this up to compare it. I picked up a skincare item. This is the Peach and Lily Power Cocktail Lactic Acid Repair Serum. Again, this is for my dark spots. I am really happy with how my face is feeling right now. I'm not having a lot of texture. My acne is pretty much clearing up. I do do laser on my face, um, mainly for my chin area and my upper lip just because I'm trying to minimize <laughs> if you get I have my my skin even if I get like a any kind of blemish underneath my skin I will get a scar no matter what it is if it's an acne bump if it's a hair bump I scar really easily so laser hair removal just helps the hair not come up at all so I don't have to worry about potentially having ingrowns or picking and then I have a scar so I'm still working on that and this had really good reviews to help with resurfacing and also with dark spots and this is a night serum so something else to add to the arsenal. I picked up a backup of my Bondi Boost HG shampoo and conditioner. This is pretty expensive so whenever I see it on sale I grab it. This is good for hair that is thinning hair that is fine if you're having issues with shedding. I don't think this helps to regrow. It doesn't even say on here, but it just says no silicones, no parabens, no sulfates, and it's just supposed to be really good for your hair. So I use this in conjunction with their vitamins and then also they have a hair serum and a spray. I use the whole kit together. I think I got this from Walmart. Probably so. This I don't think they sell this at Ulta. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check. I'll let y'all know. But this is the Black Opal True Color Foundation Stick. I told you guys how much I love this. And I picked up another one in the shade Amber. This one, I don't remember if it's a shade lighter or a shade darker um, than what I already had. I just remember feeling like the one I had was a little, little tiny bit off. So I wanted to try a different shade just to see. And right now I am too dark, so it's not going to look. Oh, that's actually not that bad. Um, it's not going to be the right shade anyway. But yeah, I think that looks better for my undertone. The other one's a little, a little pink and this one's a little warmer. So either way, I love the foundation. I love the formula of it. It stays and smooths everything out. So I highly recommend this. Got to try it. This was on sale 50% off during one of the sale days. This is the Dermablend Loose Setting Powder. I decided to pick this up in cool beige. I had the translucent, still have the translucent one. Why does this look like it was open and it's like all messy? Um, but I wanted to get the cool beige one. Is this open? Oh, I was about to say not open, but I wanted to get the cool beige one. I don't, I've said this a million times. I don't like yellow powders on my face. So you can see this one has a slight tint to it, but a lot of times if my concealer is a little too dark or not bright enough, not necessarily too dark, um, I will go in with a lighter powder just to help brighten a little bit. And I like powders more this shade or translucent instead of yellow. So this powder is great. I've used probably half of the tub that I have of the translucent, the white one, and so I thought I might as well grab a backup while it was 50% off. This is a dry shampoo from the brand Joyco. Now I'm going to keep this and I'm going to use it, 
But I just found my Holy Grail dry shampoo and it is the Bumble and Bumble Preta Powder, I think is how you pronounce it. That one is so good. It does not leave a white cast. It smells good. It gives your hair some texture, like everything you want in a dry shampoo. I have not tried this one yet, so I don't know if it does any of those things either, but this was on sale. I can't smell it yet. Now watch, I have a white spot. Yeah, see, I see a white spot. So this is not, it smells good, but no, this leaves a white cast. So I'm gonna have to be careful using this one and that's why I love my Bumble and Bumble, but I'll still use it. Hopefully it'll be good at eliminating oil and everything else it's supposed to do. The next thing I picked up, this was kind of one of those things where I wanted to try it, didn't need it. And I said, I was gonna stop doing that but I went in the store and swatched it and thought it was gorgeous, so I picked it up. I don't have any products by Nude Sticks and their little face products were on sale. So I picked up one of their matte, Nudie's Mattes All Over the Face bronze color, but it is a multi-use product. So they come in these little tins and the tin has a mirror in it, which I thought was kind of cute, but I picked up the shade Deep Maple A, I guess people in Canada. I don't know why they have that. Does that make sense for that? I don't know. Um, I did swatch this one, but I just thought it was the prettiest like bronzer slash blush. It's kind of light. Oh, can you even see that? Maybe a little bit. I don't know, I could see me using this as a lip color, definitely see it as a face color. And so, like I said, I hadn't tried the brand and this was the only shade, why well, won't this close all the way? That's weird. Um, this was the only shade that I thought would be deep enough and look good on me, so I grabbed it while I was in the store. I also decided to pick up this Strivectin Multi Action Super C Retinol Brighten and Correct Vitamin C Serum. I went through a whole bottle of this and I told you guys in my recommendations that I was gonna pick this up so I kept my word on this one for sure because it's expensive so I was happy to get it for half price I'm gonna be honest I don't think I realized that I bought <laughs> another set of these I'm gonna keep it because the bottles are small but yeah <laughs> I don't think I meant to do that I think you know like you shop in the middle of the night because stuff sells out so fast and I think I had it in my cart and I just hurried up and checked out. And then the next day I was like, oh, don't forget to grab your shampoo and conditioner. So I think that's what happened. I don't know, but we have some more. I also picked up the Lancome La Vie Belle perfume. Now this was kind of a blind buy because I don't remember smelling it. I did have a friend tell me that it smells really good. So we will see. I do know that I need to be done buying perfumes and fragrances for a while because between my birthday and my recent um, dossier pickups and everything else. Oh, this bottle is so pretty though. I'm going to put this on now because I don't have anything on. Let's see. Um, I have more than enough. I'm going to have to let this dry down because right off the bat I don't know how I feel about this which I probably shouldn't keep spraying it on myself right mm, I don't know how I feel about this I don't see notes or anything on here I read them and it sounded like I should like them but this kind of smells a little mature for me so I don't know, I'm gonna let it dry down and see. I'm smelling some sweetness come through, hold on. I'm gonna have to let it dry down because the I have that happen where the initial spray, I'm like, ooh, uh-uh, what's that lady's face when she's like, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, that's kind of what we have going on right now. So we'll let it dry down and see. Next, I picked up, I don't think this was on sale. I don't remember. This is the Alterna My Hair My Canvas Glow Crazy Shine Booster. This is a mix two pumps with your favorite mask or conditioner. Okay, so you don't use this by itself. Well, so it needs to go in the shower. I was about to put some in my hair right now because I will always add some shine. But this is basically just a glow booster if you feel like your hair needs a little more shine. 
need to pick me up. I picked up the Key Soul Care Let Me Glow Illuminating Serum. I also said I was going to pick this up during my recommendations video. The thing that got me with this was it said it was a serum that had a glow and could also be used as a primer. And so, yeah, they sold me. It says it illuminates, plumps, and revitalizes and has a potent form of vitamin B3 that helps to brighten and balance the skin's appearance. So yeah, that's all y'all needed to say. So it says apply two pumps to moisturize skin. Okay, so you don't put it under your moisturizer so it is not a serum like that. And then says can be used alone or prior to applying makeup. So I wanna see what this color looks like though. I've not tried anything from this brand so this is new to me. So it came out white. Okay, and you can see it definitely has a glow. Okay. I thought it was going to be like a tinted thing, but it's not. So that's good because it can go with any of my foundations that are a good shade and I don't need the foundation shade to be changed. I decided to pick up the Fenty Beauty Concealer. The Pro Filter Concealer was on sale and I think it's the first time they ever had it on sale. I had this before and I bought it way too light. I think I had, I had shade 345. This is shade 385 and I went in the store and I swatched them. I didn't wear the other one that much because it was too light, but this is definitely a better shade for me. And I just wanted to revisit this one because I feel like it's gotten a lot of good reviews. So I just, I wanted to try it again. That is all. And it was on sale for 50% off. So put it in my bag. Thank you. I was able to pick up one of the KP Smoothing Body Lotions. This is for if you have, uh, I don't know the name of it in real life. Is it on the back of here? Something Polaris, whatever <laughs> the name of it. But it's the little bumps. If you have uneven skin, this is supposed to help because it has AHAs in it. So it helps to resurface your skin. This sold out really quick. I had two in my cart checked out and then got an email that said one of your items isn't available. So didn't have a chance to go to the store and get more, but I'm glad at least I got one. This is new to my collection. I picked up one of the Benefit blushes. These are the newer ones that they came out with. This is called the... I don't know what the name of it is. Anyway, this is in the color Java. Why doesn't it have the name on it? That's so weird. But this is a rosy mocha tone. I went in the store, I swatched them all, and I just thought, y'all know how I am about my bronzy kind of red. I just, yep, we're about to do it. Ooh, this is very powdery and very, very pretty. Oh yeah. I love just that like in between blush and bronzer kind of terracotta. That is so pretty. I didn't see many of the other shades that I like. Have y'all tried these before? What do you think about them? I don't know, but so far, just first impression. I don't know how long they wear, anything like that, but this is coming upstairs in the bathroom. I picked up two boxes of the Zuvian's Advanced Series Pure Retinol Correcting Peel. These were really expensive. Glad I was able to get them half off. These, are these had really good reviews, and it says 94% of people saw a improvement in their dark spots, pore size, and lines. Y'all know I talk about these forehead wrinkles, which I don't know if it's my primer or what, but they are being very good today. And also my dark spots. I have wanted to do a peel, like go to a spa and get it done, but they tell me like I can't work out for like a week or some crap and that's just not gonna happen. So I'm gonna do this at home with something that's not as strong and see if it can help. Because I picked that up, I also got this gift with purchase. Love Ulta with their gifts with purchase. This is their Age Defy, uh-uh, Age Reversed Day Repair Moisturizer with Sunscreen, which you definitely need after doing a peel. And then this is a sample of an exfoliating pad. But I definitely wanted that when I saw it was available because it has the SPF in it. I did go ahead and rack up on my Juvia's Place liners because those were also on sale for 50% off. So I picked up the shade Brownie and then I picked up Cola, which is one of my other faves. And then I picked up Coco Latte, which was from the coffee shop collection that they came out with. 
These are all super dark. They're all brown. I'm not going to open and swatch them, but I wear lip liner every single day with some kind of lip gloss or lip product. So I go through them. This is new to my collection. It was also 50% off. This is the Live Tinted Hue Stick. This is in the shade Rise. Uh, I don't know. I feel like, is this the, I know they had some that were color correctors and I'm not sure. I think that's what I was trying to get. But yeah, this one is an orange. Ooh, it's pretty, pretty dark. Let's put her right here. Ooh, yeah. That's going to be really good. So that'll be for dark spots. Yes, and it is retractable. This is going in my makeup bag. I had my Smashbox one in my makeup bag, but you need to sharpen that one. So I took it out. So this is going in my makeup bag to travel. I also picked up a Juvia's Place. Is this a gloss? Yes, this is the Honey Honey Lip Gloss. Ooh, this would look so pretty on right now. This is why my haul videos take long. <laughs> um, I didn't pick up anything from that collection other than the Coffee Shop eyeshadow palette. So when I saw these in the store, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab it. This looks very opaque and also very hard to open. And I picked this one in particular because it looks like it is a... It's, it's kind of like a... I don't know how to, what, how would you describe this color? What would y'all say? It's not an orange, but it's kind of like a tannish kind of brown versus my normal, yeah, like orange. That is pretty though. I wanted something different because I always do either like brown glosses or these kind of, this one is like a pinky. So you can see the difference. These are the glosses that I have sitting right here, the main ones that I use. So you can see how different that shade is almost like an orange. So that's why I picked that one up. And I love Juvia's Place 90% of her stuff. So this was just something that I felt like I needed to grab, especially while it was on sale. This was a random, I was in the store and I saw it and I was just like, ooh, that's pretty. Barbara, Colourpop, we did. This is the So Fly palette. Now, <laughs> random fact about me, one of my favorite songs to jam to when I'm getting ready to go out is So Fly by Slim, one of the singers from 112. I love the group 112, and when that song came out, I literally had it on repeat, and I think I know all the words and ad-libs. So that kind of made me like this palette too, but... Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, what is wrong with you? This is a cute palette. I got it literally for this shade right here in the middle because it is a dual chrome. The rest of the shades, meh, kind of giving me Kathleen vibe, Dream Street kind of vibes, you know, if y'all were Kathleen lights, Dream Street vibes, if you remember that palette a little bit, but I don't know, she'll be cute. But I think this was more just for the collector in me than it was like, I need to have that palette which I know I said I was gonna stop doing, but y'all, it was my birthday month, so cut me some slack. I did happen to look up and get one of the beauty breaks and it was a little tart set. So it came with this little blush, which is probably exposed, captivating. I don't know if that's gonna show up on me. I might just put this, I don't know. I don't think that's gonna show up on me, but I got it because I wanted to try this. This is their Maracuja Juicy Lip in rose everybody's been talking about these so when i saw that this was a little sample i was like yep i need to try it i'm not going to swatch this because this is tiny and i don't want to waste it and then i also got a maracuja oil which i have a big bottle sitting right here and then a lights camera lashes which i've used before it used to be one of my favorites and then i started feeling like it was flaking on me and I found other stuff. So I'm going to always get my little perks whenever I can. I picked up a couple brushes. The It Cosmetics for Ulta brushes were on sale. So I picked up one of their Airbrush Soft Focus Blush brushes. The blush brushes that I have right now are old from when I'm my Mary Kay days. And so I kind of wanted to get some different ones just to venture out because I remember one day using one of them and I was like, man, this thing feels really scratchy. So I feel like it was time to upgrade. And then I got their tapered bronzing brush. 
I don't have a lot of big fluffy bronzing br bronzing brushes. So that's why I grabbed these. These are pretty expensive, but they were on sale for half off, so made it a little easier for me to swallow the price. Last but not least, I had a coupon, so this was not part of the 21 days, but I included it because it was still at Ulta. I bought a bunch of lash stuff. I'm determined. I keep buying full lashes, and now I done bought a bunch of these trios. Y'all, I'm going to be the lash queen if it kills me. So I want to learn how to do the little extensions. So I bought these little lash kit things that have like the little tiny, tiny ones. And it comes with this whole set. This says semi-permanent semi lash adhesive. I tried this one time with a clear glue and it was so bad. That I put too much glue. It dried and looked crusty. And so I took them off immediately. So hopefully I have better luck with this. I also bought the Falscara starter kit. So this comes with their little lash applicator and their bond and seal adhesive and then also some lashes, some clusters. And then I bought their overnighter. What is this thing? This is to help maintain your lashes once you have them on. So it says when mascara isn't enough. So you apply the false scare system and then apply overnighter to extend the wear of them. So that's always good. And then I just picked up some extra little clusters. So I think that is everything. I feel like that wasn't too bad. Just some of this stuff could have been really expensive if I hadn't gotten it on sale. So always grateful for that. Comment below and let me know if you picked up any items from the sale. Have you tried any of this stuff? If you have any tips for how to get these lashes to work, let me know. I'm always open for any suggestions and I love hearing from you guys. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family by hitting that subscribe button. And if you are returning, thanks for all your support. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye. It's